All right, let's jump right into a deck deck huh, and start playing some Rune Terra. So this was a build around submission for Feel the Rush and my favorite champion, Zoe. So Feel the Rush here, grab two different champions from your deck or hand, raise their stats up to 10 tens. This is very good with uh, elusive champions like Zoe is elusive. So getting a 10-10 elusive closes games out very quickly. In Frel Targon, there isn't a second elusive champion we can get, but Overwhelm is a decent uh, decent second choice. And Trindomir is a great one to fish up with uh, Feel the Rush because he... What's the word I'm searching for? He's good against Ruination if your opponent's going to try and sweep your board after you put Giant Fatties into play. So if he would die, he levels up instead into a, a bigger, chunkier monster. The rest of this deck is a mix of Acceleration with Catalyst and Wolf Rider to get to our Feel the Rush Trindomir top end a little bit sooner. And then other um, elusive aggro cards. We've got Sparklefly, Mentor of the Stones, and then some other Freljord tools like Ruthless Raider and Omen Hawk is just cheap units to play to the board. So I'm interested to see if this... This deck is pretty linear at its core. Like, Freljord and Targon don't really have, like, quality interaction. We, like, don't have Challenger units. We don't have, like, removal, like, Mystic Shots or Vengeance or anything like that. So I'm interested to see if this mix of mostly linear stuff is good enough to be competitive or if it's just going to get outclassed by the other, other linear decks that already exist in the format. Seether, thanks for re-upping that Prime for the second month. I really appreciate it. Welcome back. Good morning. Boston, thank you for the very generous tier two. I appreciate the 17 months. Happy holidays this morning. Tiago, Merry Christmas. Thank you for the 19 months. You know, a lot of the decks I play, I really don't like playing against Kench Soraka, but um, feel, feel the Rush is probably pretty good here. I'm going to full mulligan, looking for some acceleration here, potentially. Nailed it. And now I have to decide, like, so we're attacking on, we're attacking on odds. So I have to decide, do I want to Raider into Mentor here? Or do I want to just Catalyst? I think I want to Raider into Mentor here. Getting, getting this super big sounds, sounds appealing. It's a big responsibility to Shepard Star. Enter, Traveler. I'm More in Skamos. You know, I think I'm going to go ahead and elixir this. Because they, they can play Kench next turn, but then if I open on attacks on my... If I open on attacks on my following turn, I can, I can pump up with this again right away, which sounds appealing. And getting, getting this to a 7 or maybe making Zoe a 3 both sounds great. We could get hushed here. I just get to eat their thing. That's good for us. Hey, morning, Kristen. Thank you for the five months. I appreciate that. Welcome back. I think we're just going wide here. I will find the goodness in you, River King. Who only provides temporary sustenance, child? The Winter's Claw strikes. So I think my game plan here is just Giant Ruthless Raider. Definitely want to open on attacks. Pretty happy to throw this away into Kench. Kench is gonna get to damage himself by eating things anyways. And giving them giving them fewer, fewer tiny things to uh Sounds good. I assume they're gonna eat Zoe right away here. Five 
follower of Banana Soul. Thanks for the follow. Yeah, I'm just gonna catalyst here. Past the turn. I think we're I think we're at the point of the game where like we're gonna try and ride this ruthless raider to victory, or uh We're either going to try and ride the Ruthless Raider to victory, or uh, hope to peel a field of rush to kill them with that. Where there's a will, there's a meal. Do I do deck reviews? I mean, basically all the content I make is, de is deck reviews. Do you get Zoe Pierce? We would we would get Zoe back if they didn't have a way to protect this here, yeah. So that's, uh, that's unfortunate. It could have it could have been right, honestly, to uh planning a room inside. It could have been it could have been right there to uh gem gem that up a little bit bigger. That way that couldn't happen. I don't get to watch the stream anymore, but I always want to support a content. We're almost through 2020. Thank you for the biddies, Boston. Merry Christmas. Happy, happy end of the year and all that jazz. This is this is actually the best generation we could have gotten there. Because not only not only does it keep their their giant unit at bay here, but it also draws us closer to uh draws us closer to feel the rush. No, I don't. I don't look at random decks while streaming. There's just, just too much going on. We have some four three goats here. So they're gonna, they're gonna get to level this, but they're gonna get to level that regardless. So I'm just gonna go ahead and play these out. We'll bake some spell mana, and we're just like crossing our fingers and hoping for our field rush at this point. Rune Tear is really well done, Boston. Ha! Huh. Is this bugged? So I, I silenced this in the middle, and now it has two different acquired taste things here, and it says it's only two out of three, but this is this is totally captured. No, no, it's got it's got one for each of them. Yeah, it must be bugged, right? Because it says it's got three acquired tastes here. But it's only two out of three. Stand back. Where there's a will, there's a meal. Ding ding ding. One was captured while Hush so it didn't count towards level up. Oh, that's interesting. Excuse me. Is that ability with silence at the time? Okay. Weird. That's a strange interaction. Ionia, it does. Good good catch you was. Well, they ate all of my things, but we should feel the rush, so hopefully they're dead. They could they could have a hut they could have hush next turn. But if they don't, if they don't have Hush, we're in a pretty decent spot here. They're going up to 13 with this, but I have plenty of gems to kill them with this. Am I going to die to Star Springs? Shall this have plus 8? So is that 15? I just play a dance party of some time. I did, yeah. And Zoe, Zoe, and Zoe and Trindamir came to dance. So the um, in the Rune Terra universe, there are um, KDA cards 
that are the KDA is a um, what's the what's the style of music is it called again? I'm blanking on the style of music. Um, oh gosh, are we gonna be short on their block? They get to block here. It's K K pop music. Yeah, that's that's the word. So they have to they have to block with Ken Shear. And then they're gonna go to one. Zuberg, yeah, K-pop. They're a K-pop band, so there's five. There's five K-pop cards that have a dance sequence when you play them. I understand. So if they do this and they have like a Bastion, Pale Cascade, sure. Oh, so might might end up a little bit short here. They don't have the Hush at least, so we've got that going for us. And do this and see if we can snake a okay moon glow moon glow is actually great right gives her gives her spell shields here Their star springs are only at five. They're at, they're at eleven. Maybe, maybe. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know that we're dead to star spring necessarily. Wow, that's brutal. Shakedown was not was not a card I was playing around. I don't believe so, either. So I should have I should have played out if I would have played out our extra blocker there. So I should I should have prioritized. I wanted to play around Hush into Eat Zoe the following turn, but that failed to play around Challenger into uh into shakedown. So shakedown for people that missed what happened there makes two of my units vulnerable. And then they had a third, a third challenger unit. So they made two of my things vulnerable and they challenged the third, which let their 30 power thing slip through unblocked. So if I would have if I would have deployed, if you did that, they could have forced you to trade Zoe. Sure. But I still live and I still have a Trindomir and they're still pretty low. Well then I then I have no ideas either. Try, try it out. I am not a rules compendium. Yeah, the way the way Twitch tracks the anniversaries is awkward. They get acquired acquired taste before. So yeah, that's fair. That's fair. Do we not have another unit? I don't, I don't remember now. Either, either way, I didn't play around the shakedown. It's my favorite. This one. This one's the best. Tradesies. Either, either way, like, what I drew the following turn, the result the result of the game doesn't matter. Talking about what we did or didn't play around what we could have is the, is the relevant point. Of course so. Atrondus Arcanian, thank you for the 25 months. That's a long time. Welcome back. I'm going to go ahead and block here so we take two, and then these bump in combat, which means we gain one back. Need to go ahead and drop Mentor of the Stones here. Sparkle. Sparklefly, easily the best card against any of the aggro decks, which is why they're going to murder it here. Don't really want to attack in with this. Explosives pride. Don't find me. Run. I think we just take that hit with this drum. 
because Zoe makes the rules. I was hoping they play something. Leading on Zoe because I don't want them to know that I have the second sparkle fly here. If I hadn't drawn second sparkle fly, I think I probably would have traded this here. But because we drew this, this has value in being able to open attacks for the next turn. Yeah, so now, now they played this. So now they can't block sparkle fly before I, or they can't shoot it or anything before I attack. So now we get to go ahead and open like this. And I think we start with Super Cool Star Chart to see what we generate. We're probably Wolf Ridering here, but if this hits uh, Danger Noodle, I'd like to be able to play that out. No Danger Noodle. Um, but honestly, Equinox is probably the play. This can, this can, like, silence this, these, or an Overwhelm unit before they attack with it next turn. So I'm at 12, but if they want to attack, I'm at 15 because this has extra attack. Pale Cascade's a great draw. Rip their flesh. Hi, I'm Zoe, what's your name? right to Pale Cascade proactively here. Instead of going to 8, Speak, I say. 10, 10's a little bit more comfortable. The good news, the good news is if we don't die and we get to attack with this next turn, we're gonna, we're gonna win the game. If this, if this gets to connect next turn, it's connecting for 8, or 7, 8, 9, 10. We'll go back up to 18 and the game will be over. But look at me now. Next turn, we're definitely playing burst pump spells into open attack to support this right away. Just want to gain as much as possible, as quickly as possible. Night Visionary. Vision is scary. Start a revolution. Polluting the airwaves. Thanks for the follow. Do, 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 do. Opponent. Well, if they don't have a burn spell here, we should be safe on opens. Right, we're going. We're going to six. So we could theoretically be dead here to like double get excited. Mm, I'm not sure. Like, get excited or double fervor, perhaps? Gem you. Fail cascade you. Perfect. And that should mean we're guaranteed not dead. So we have uh, a gain three at first now. The real, the real question with this deck while we play it is, is the Feel the Rush top end meaningful, or is it just worse than being like the Zoe Elusive decks that we've played in the past? Zoe, Fiora, A. Eh? Hush is worth its weight in gold here. I'm going to mulligan the rest of these looking for ramp. Sure, we found Feel the Rush at least. This card often makes their deck... Their deck is, like, all in on pumping up Fiora or something else, so... We are we are a true Freljorian player. We've got the Omen Hawk on one. Nailed it. There is some liability to playing the Omen Hawks out in this matchup just because Fiora needs to kill things to level up, so she gets to eat them. 
Second hush is not bad. So I think I'm actually taking the pass here because if I draw a catalyst next turn, I want to be able to catalyst on three. It means if I draw a unit, I'm down an Omen Hawk buff, but it is it is what it is. Looking into the future, I see Purple. I love for a worthy Precision and grace. Hey, nice king. I'm glad you're enjoying it. That deck's, that deck's really sweet. I mean, to be fair, they, they almost assuredly did, right? It is, it is what it is. I think, I think it was correct to play to the play to the catalyst as a draw. this level I want to save I want to save hushes for a bigger blowout I have no equal. fight or die this this levels all of their things but if I kill if I kill I think most I think Fiora is just kind of a the, co the combo champions just, are just kind of awkward. At least she doesn't protect herself, but she's pretty close to Lisa in levels of annoying. I mean, I don't know about guarantee win. If they have, if they have another Fiora, they could be okay. Feel the hush. <laughs> yeah, they could be. They could be fine. They have to they have to start re-leveling this though, so we should we should have enough here now to um Yeah, if your Fiora is zero out of four is exactly correct. So I get to go Trindomir next turn and to feel the rush the following turn and hopefully kill them. Correct. She does not level when she kills Trent. The finest blades for my I need only one. Instead, instead of dying, he levels. So we'll have a 9-5, a 10-10, and a 10-10 elusive. Feel the Zoe, baby! Feel the Trindomir! They're rushing at you. Attack! Oh, please. Such unrefined style.
All right, now this game should be done. All right, feel feel the rush definitely won us that game, but we would not when we would not have won it without it. We're attacking on Evens is actually great for this hand, and they are they're likely an endure deck. I guess they could be fearsome. I'm gonna keep the hush, assuming they're an endure deck. What do you think makes Zoe an easy champion to build decks with? She doesn't. She just doesn't have specific build around requirements. She's a she's just like a generically good card. She's she's very similar to Twisted Fate. Is probably the best comparison. She's a, a card that generates card advantage on her own that has a level up condition that doesn't always happen, but when it does, it frequently wins you the game. as a distraction, hoping they leave Sparkle Fly alone. Any good Zoe decks? All of them. Zoe, Zoe's the best girl. And this is this is awkward now because I mean, you could argue Twisted Fate's condition, level up condition, is also play a game of Runeterra as well with that, with that reductionist logic. And I think you can make that argument for most Runeterra cards. Like, you build your deck in a way that, like, leveling them up just requires you to continue playing the game. Yeah, Darius 2. It's a pretty, pretty reductionist take. Yeah, most most champions basically. Plunder Plunder Wolf looking awkward here. Not able to get in with that. Mystical levitation requires concentration. Oh, Christ. She is, she is a cheap must-answer threat. You're not wrong about that. How do you feel about hushing this? It's probably not good enough. I guess Charger... I'm gonna do this now in case they have a deal one. Well, I guess if they have a deal one, they get to kill this.
Okay, and then Wolf Rider here lets me Trindamir next turn. Now, Trindamiring next turn does mean I'm unable to... Does mean I'm unable to uh, feel the rush the following turn, though, which is unfortunate. Hopefully they open attacks and don't kill us. If they open attacks and don't kill us... Is that lethal? That's lethal, right? I don't think I have anything I could do about that. Even if I play Trindamir, they double hook, and then I take this plus these. Yeah, three. Triple, triple Caretaker is uh, slightly above average. Silence, silence the Kalista. That doesn't do anything, chat. I would, I would encourage you to count. Simple, simple arithmetic with Jeff Hoagland. <laughs> we're not, we're not dying because of the the Kalista. We're dying because we can't, uh, we can't block because of the Challengers. Hey, I appreciate that, Mitsu. Good evening. Good morning, whatever time of day it is, it's all a blur. Thanks for the 17 months. Uh, even even if we did silence Kalista and play a unit, we couldn't live there. We didn't have enough mana to do that, but that's still we still died. They had a they had a, a five a five a three and a two, and I was at eight, plus their two challengers. Five plus two plus three is more than eight. Elise Jinx. So Jinx likely means this is probably an aggressive pairing. This is a brew for sure, though. I'm gonna mulligan the hush. They want to keep the rest of these. We have Omen Hawk into Catalyst on three. We have Zoe into Catalyst on three. Which of these two I play on turn one is gonna be dictated by what their turn one play is. If they play a two one out, I'm gonna play Omen Hawk. If they do nothing, I'm gonna play Zoe. Sirius. Thanks for the follow. Now I have to decide, do I want to goat and move in that direction or do I want a catalyst on three? I think I want a catalyst on three. So I'm gonna elect to bank my mana here so that way we can set up to get this ramp going. Humanity is obsolete. Obsolete. Perfect. This might be this might be the first game we get to feel the rush super early, which is sweet. I pull the strings. They could burn my mana here, but if they if they want to burn my mana and not attack, I think that's a win for me. So I think I take that risk and pass back here. Yeah, they, they crack us for four because by by passing there, we actually get to utilize the heal off the catalyst, which is great. Wow, they're a go hard deck. That's interesting. When's the next VGC stream? I'm not sure if I'm going to be doing more VGC. The feedback, the feedback on the sub survey was uh, was mixed, and it's just tough to get into new things. It was, it's an interesting, interesting game and the rental teams are neat, but the amount of, the amount of like practice and invested you have to be in order to do something competitively like that is hard, is a lot. The number one master EU player cut Chump Wump and Easy Draven for static. Why is that better? Why do you assume it's better? If you can't think of a reason why it's better, maybe it's not. Just because someone has a high rank in a game doesn't mean their card evaluation and changing decisions are good. Maybe maybe they were just trying things out because it's early in the season they want to try things out. Maybe they were playing against a lot of Zoe and Timo and wanted more things to kill to kill X ones. People at people in card games in general attach too much weight to results. Good good players can be low ranked and bad players can be high ranked. Variance goes both ways in card games. 
You could also be an incredibly low rank player and still have good ideas about how to build decks. Playing, playing card games well and building decks well are not necessarily the same skill. Yeah, yeah, that. And that's not, again, I'm not saying that the change they made is guaranteed bad. I'm just challenging the assertion that this player is high ranked, so the decision that they made is automatically good. So, I think we're going to start with Star Chart here, hoping to find an Elusive. Yeah, and there's, there's the Otter. So, next turn I have seven mana. So, I can go Otter into Wolf Rider, hit them, and ramp. I mean, like, the situation in which it could be good should be very easy for you to figure out, right? When is, when is the card that deals one damage good? When you're playing against things that have one toughness. What cards do people play that have one toughness in the format? That's... This is really funny with Gohard, huh? I don't think I've seen that before. That's super cute. That's super cheeky. I love it. So don't have enough spell mana to feel the rush this turn. Want to try and get set up to be able to do that next turn. Rip their flesh. You know, I probably should have gemmed this last turn so I could trade into here. What I probably should have done. And actually, maybe I should gem this back up here while I'm thinking about it. Looking into the future, I see. Harper. So I need to bank two spell mana going into next turn. Because we're going to be up to 10, and I want to feel the rush. How exciting. I brought my books. Hope that's all right. It's health. Can you cite cite a source where this is officially called called health? Where where in the where in the rules does it officially say that that's health? One of the frostbite spells, okay. You know it's here somewhere. Alright, if we don't get burned out. Perfection. Double trouble. Opponent's hand is super full. Brittle steel, three or less health. There you go. Thank you for the source. Got, they've got some cards in hand, chat. They've only played one Go Hard here, so don't have to worry about pack your bags burning me out. But we could see, like, get excited, get excited Mystic Shot here. And with this, if they drew one get excited, they guaranteed have two of them, so. Okay, so we should be safe from getting burned out at this point. Do, 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 do. 
Yeah, this this attack's about to be a ten for one shit. Kill him, kill him with ten cards in their hand. matters. I believe, I believe we're cracking them for 20 here. Yeah, they were they were very close. It was like a like a turn off. You're starting to bore me. Now I've lost my place. Negative five. Very, very, very close. Howdy how! Thank you for the 11 months, I appreciate that. Welcome back, good morning. Well... Turns out, when you jam, jam a field of rush in your deck, you can win some games regardless. And Ted Ted Blues of Overrun was good. Field Ash, eh? Yeah, maybe Lampton. I don't know. I think, I think them burning our mana on three was pretty okay for us, which is why I gave them the option to. Them, them not getting that attack in and getting that spider in was, would have been relevant. Ah, look, at this look, out sparkly. look out, sparkly! I'm gonna open on attacks with Zoe. If I play this and they deploy the three one that frostbite something, I wouldn't get hit with Zoe and get a star chart this turn. Do Zoe and Trin see each other coming to play? I have no idea. I think I Sparkle Fly here, so this way I can go Hawk into Pale Cascade with Nightfall the following turn. Now, they could have a Brittle Steel here or an Elixir, but definitely making them have those. Hex Reforge. Is that like Hex 2? Raffer, thanks for the follow. I appreciate that. Welcome to the channel. I will unite the we feast tonight, There's a good chance this Biora just devours our board this game. Thanks for the nine months, War Bandit. Strike quickly, strike deftly. <laughs> Too easy. Rend them limb from limb. Varg will have the first fight. Yeah, I agree, Lampton. Hex, Hex was really good for the time when it was created, you know, five or six years ago. But it definitely, compared to other games like this, it just has not. Has not aged well. Yeah, Hex, Hex was better than Magic Online. And it's a better, it's, it's core gameplay was definitely better than Magic's core gameplay. I think both of those things are true.
Whoa, we killed the Fiora chat. So you're saying there's a chance. Take a chance on me. Do 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 do. Things I was not expecting to have happened there. The Fiora died. Show me a worthy opponent. You could have fought by my side. Swiftly now. My aim is true. I didn't think Fiora's could die. Fiora, Fiora is mortal? <laughs> you got it. Well, that's hopefully very lethal. Yeah, we might we might punk them out here. We know they have crystal arrow in hand because their ash just leveled up. That's a big one. She is thick. All right, so I think we just take the pass here, so that way if we draw Feel the Rush, we can cast it. This Twitch stream was pre-recorded in front of a live studio audience. Can you feel it? Now I wanted to spread out how valuable my different threats were, Ruin. Okay, if they can put 20 power into play here, we die. We can't we can't block because of Ash. She's gonna frostbite this. They have 11, 12. They need eight more power. All right, so we're not dying, and we should kill them on the backswing here. This will frostbite something at the start of the turn, but then we get to attack. I think I'm just supposed to attack right away here. Opponents conceding. Deal. Deal Arena. Not even a challenge. Not even a challenge. So you so rude, Shindemir. This deck felt I wasn't I wasn't expecting a lot from this deck that we're playing, and it felt a lot more cohesive than I was. Like we've we've won games as an elusive deck, we've won games as kind of a trend mid rangey kind of deck, we've won games with feel the rush going over the top. So like all of our all of our parts are humming along. <laughs> trend with the GG easy. Uh, I think I'm kind of into this whole hand. Sounds great. Hey, Hamblin. Thank you for the year and a half. I really appreciate the tier two. Welcome back.
This is probably not something we're playing on three in this matchup, but it will be good down the line. So I think my play here is Ruthless Raider here on two, pass, Sun Bless Vigor block next turn, and then I'll be able to attack and trigger Wolf Rider Plunder the following turn. Okay, now I think I just do this. Let me get to bank some spell mana here. There's plenty of cannon there. For the Empire. You are the many. What's that you got there? No, I picked I picked Trindamir. This was a feel the rush Zoe build around. So we're going up to six mana total. Seven, eight, so we can feel the rush on their next turn. How do you come up with an original deck idea? Original ideas don't exist in the age of the internet. Just play a deck that you build a deck that you think sounds fun and enjoy playing it. Originality is a lie. Look how sparkly! By her entrails. Fresh out of mercy. Just a good friendly reminder. Instead of me justifying my decisions to you, please tell me why your ideas are good. Instead of saying, hey, Jeff, why didn't you do this thing? Instead, tell me why the thing you're recommending is good. Sell me, sell me on your idea. I think we have to throw her away here, too. I think, I think I'm just doing this. to four here. Like, card, card games, card games and ownership of decks is just like the biggest variation of the Simpsons did it possible in, in 20, in 2020, right? Like, like there's only a finite number of cards in this game when the cards are designed, the designers of those cards very clearly had ideas on which one should be paired together. So, like, don't don't stress yourself out worrying about being overly original. Just play fun games. Play fun games with fun cards. What if I double gem this? So that way they can't block it for free. I'm gonna use this hush to gain one. close looking rough it's not looking rough at all we missed we missed by one point of life like we li we literally have them dead next turn if we have one one more point of life a very very close game this 
against it by this much. Just flash in the open hockey, yeah, exactly. Uh, yeah, this thing is just kind of great, right? Why you prefer Trindamir to Sajani? Do you think I'm a board control deck? Raffer, why do you, why do you think I'm a board? What what part of the deck that I'm currently playing to you says that I'm a board control deck? Why why do you think Sajani is the right card for me to be playing? It's actually a great draw. To get to ramp on three, I think. I mean, Trindamir, Trindamir helps close the game out more consistently than, than Sajani does. And Trindamir explicitly makes your feel the rush much better in these control matchups where your opponent's going to be interacting with your board. My deck, my deck is a very linear deck. We aren't, we aren't looking to be super interactive. If you want to play an interactive Feel the Rush deck, I'd recommend this deck that our current opponent is playing. It's a very reasonable interactive Feel the Rush deck. True Gamer, thanks for the Prime. I really appreciate that. Well, there's a lot of great people. You can chip that to every single month here on Twitch. Thanks for sending it my way. Yeah, it feels like they're setting up for an Avalanche, which is why I didn't deploy to the board that turn. No, I'm, I'm pretty sure they have Avalanche. They just want they just want more value out of it because they're greedy. I think reading reading into Avalanche there is probably correct. They could have also just had a damage to want to get this block set up, but go could go either way. I'm gonna put some five fours into play here. Our Feel the Rush will be better because ours gets Zoe and Zoe is the best champion. Big true. Big true. For I lose myself. Should have had more K-pop in your life, opponent. Yeah, yeah, the opponent's archetype is like Greed Incarnate. For people, for people that have it, haven't seen their build before. They're playing a pretty, pretty stock configuration. So far. 
At least at least one of these is pretty pretty typical. They could have a vengeance here. Sometimes these decks play harsh winds and frostbites, so. And we could we could die to their trend on the backswing. Yeah, okay, there's harsh winds. I believe in the sparkle fly. I believe in the sparkles, shit. Believe. Believe in the sparkles. I believe in a thing called sparkles. The, pr the problem is that they're going to ledros us next. Uh, they're going to ledros us on their next turn, and then they're going to kill us with atrocity on our our next turn. Is the the sequence that's likely here. Crescent, Crescent doesn't do anything against their line that kills us. Yeah, all of our all of our sequences here die to Ledros atrocity, basically. Yep. At least their trundle isn't leveled, so we can jump block that one. The good the good news is uh this play does this play mean I'm not dead to atrocity? I think this play means we're not dead to atrocity. Maybe we still are because these have overwhelm. For the homestead. Wow, they took the pass. Okay. Well. I assume we're just getting frostbitten again here, right? Is what's happening? Yeah, they could have they could have atrocity too. We are dead to atrocity if they take the pass. Te technically, hush saves us. So if they if they go to atrocity here, we get to cantrip pale cascade and try and try and do that. Big. That'll do big. <sighs> Next time I'll use my good sword hand. Damn it, Trindamir, use your good sword hand from the start, thank you. Their Nexus said negative 18, we have the war of them. Yeah, we only went to zero, they went to negative 18. It's not, it's not fair. 
But, but map. Okay, so this is the Grand Plaza deck. The Grand Plaza Undying, most likely. I think I'm going to keep these two to start. A little bit of life gain sounds good. Some of their draws can be aggressive. But I'm mulligan these other two, ideally looking for ramp and to feel the rush, so we can go over the top of them. Missed on that, unfortunately. Safe to say, any Demacia deck is a plus deck. Yeah, that's probably probably a pretty reasonable assertion at this point. wide here rather than they massacred my gal chat they massacred my gang. They're often a Radiant Guardian deck too, so that could be a potential thing to think about here. Think I want to gem anything? We just attack. Small Penguin, thanks for the follow. Welcome to the channel. Rather save Goat than Ruthless Raider here. Zoe, Zoe is more difficult than champions that level up very easily, but she definitely levels, yeah. You know, I think maybe I'm supposed to gem this last turn, so that way I can have gem plus pale fear to block. Like I don't, I don't have a block here now, right? Whereas if I would have gemmed this last turn, I could have pale cascaded to block. Sort of like a mistake on my part. Guardian strength. The Radiant Guardian nerf was fine. Think that think that what that change was more than reasonable. I I'd I'd offer up Leona probably as the easiest champion to level. Smell that barg fear. That's actually true. Cat cat is probably the easiest. Sacrifice for a brick. Yeah, I think I think Cat's probably easier than Leona. Leona Leona's up there though. Now, the opponent's archetype is a ruination deck. 
So that's something we're going to want to consider when playing this field rush. on board so we're head on board and we're at 20 so i think i just like be patient if they want to pass we get to attack them for five justice will be served do a little k-pop this here hold back the darkness they're at 12 regardless of who they block wraith questions do they want to kill this or they want to put damage on trindamir Troll chanting to save this here. I just feel like it is. I guess it's silence permanently. It's a permanent silence. I am just gonna time. So our deck doesn't actually have that many good draws in it at this point. It's like basically just more copies of Field of Rush. I guess extra copies of Trindamir are also decent, but most of our most of our cards are kind of mediocre at this point in the game. Are they going to sweep the board this turn? This land is ours. Why are we, why are we throwing away Radiant Green for four? For Just want to play another before our life total up? Uh, yeah, it's, they have another, they have another Chronicler here to pair with it? Okay, that makes sense. That's cute. I will end 
ends this here. Maybe that's the turn to use the the troll chant there. Here's their plaza. We'll see if a plaza that late can get them into the game or not. It might be wrong to play the... Yeah, actually, I messed up. I was going to say, it might be wrong to play the goat because now my bench doesn't have room for fuel to rush. So, fingers fingers crossed they, uh, they kill some of my things here. Perfect. History is anguish. Big, big, big true, big true. So I, because they don't have ruination mana available, I think I just say okay and let Trend level here, and then we play this, and we get to hopefully kill the one opens. I think if my opponent had ruination mana available here, I would troll chant to keep Trend from leveling. Second, second field rush, definitely a very good, probably best draw on our deck there. Two of those in 19 cards, definitely a bit of a high roll for us. Feels good, man. So definitely starting on attacks after we play our burst power up. Paradigm shift time. This was definitely a do the thing deck and while um i think this is definitely a worse feel the rush deck than something like the si feel the rush control deck and it's probably a worse zoe deck than the more dedicated zoe decks we won games with it and it was kind of neat if you're if you're into putting a giant zoe into play to beat people down with this i don't know that i necessarily have any changes to work with this but from a pure competitive standpoint i don't know that this is really something i'd want to work on more um at the in the in the late game and situations like that last one like i said we were a bit of a high roll in that last match to be able to um to be able to find the second field of rush and if you look at our deck outside of these six bombs we really just have a lot of air in the late game because we have so many of these cheap um, combat tricks and stuff like that to keep our, our early game elusives alive. So, a little bit of disjointedness from there, even if you could just randomly punch people on occasion. Alright, what are we...